Now we are going to see how to create the links and animation for the created website. Let's get into the video. Now let's start with the navbot. Here we have the brand name and with the links and at the last we have the button. So on clicking on each it should take to some pages or the section. So on clicking this brand name and home it should take us to the home page and coming to this about it should take us to the about section and for the work it take us to the feature work. On clicking on this button it should take us to the footer. So we get the clear idea and now we have already discussed on clicking on this about it should take us to the about section but we need to specify that it should take to this section for that it should need the name. So let's see how to do. I am clicking on this about section and I am going to give the name for this section. In order to do that I am going to the scroll section. Here we have name and offset y. So in the name I am giving it as about. The same for the feature section. In the scroll section I am giving the name as work and going to the footer let me give it as contact. So for each section I have given the name. Now it's time to create the link. I am clicking on this brand and here we have link. So on clicking on this plus icon this will open. Here we can provide the URL or the page link. Here by default it has home because we have created only the home page so it's showing like this so I'm clicking on home and here is showing the section that we have created that is a scroll section here there is no need because it have to take us to the home page and coming to the style we can create the the style that we needed so on clicking on new style the new link will be created and pressing on edit we can modify the changes so we can provide the default color the hover color and a current color the current color specifies in which page we are currently in so i have already created the link so i am clicking on this link and even we can specify whether it should open the new tab or no the same follows for this home i am clicking on this link let me give the home and let's go to the about on clicking on link I'm clicking home page in the section I'm choosing about and also we can specify whether the scroll should be smooth or instant if I make it as instant it will automatically take to the about section let me show you I'm clicking this it's instantly taking to the about section it should be like a smooth scroll so for that I'm choosing smooth so now if I click it's smoothly taking to the about section now I'm clicking on work. Let me give the section to work smooth scroll. Next is button. Here we haven't have any of the links here. We can do it by using two methods. The first method is creating a wrap about this button. Use control alt enter so the wrap will be created and here we can provide the link like this or you can use another option. I'm going straight into the button. I'm choosing primary. Here we can see the link. So on clicking on this link to we can create the variable. So the link will be created that will be used as a variable. Even we can give the variable for new tab and for the scroll. Now inside the component we can see the link. So on link we can give it as contact. So this is how we need to create the links for the text and the buttons. Now coming to the icons, even it doesn't have any of the link. So I have already said one of the method, just create one wrap. And here we can give the link. Actually it's taking us to the Instagram. So I'm providing the Instagram URL and we can provide the user ID. The same follows for Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Next let's see how to create the animation. Now coming to this text, let's create the animation that is going to slide from bottom to top. So in order to make this, I'm going to the FX. Here we have plenty of option. Actually the animation should happen on up here. So I'm clicking on up here and even we have the plenty of presets from here you can choose. So inside the effect, by default the opacity will be 0 and scale will be 1. Let me increase this to show it clearly. Now I feel like I need to bring this text here. 
So in the offset, I'm bringing the text here. Even we can make the transition changes by providing the stiffness and tamping. Here, let me give it as 500 and tapping to 80. It will be fine, I think. Let me go back and reduce the opacity. And even we can able to provide the delay time. So for instance, let me provide the delay to zero. Let me show the effect. So it's working very fine. Now, now I need to give the transition effect to this. In order to bring the animation to all these, I'm just copying it from here and pasting it. So the effect will be copied here. And coming to this, even I can make the delay time. Let me make the delay to 0 0.1 so you can able to see this. So only after this, this text is appearing. Now let me make the animation for this para. So I'm pasting it. Now I'm changing the delay time. Let me do the same for the button. Let's increase the delay time. And for the social media. Let's increase the delay time. Now let's change how it's look. So this is how it will look. So as the same, I'm going to do the animation for this. I have done the animation for this so it's looking great and for this about section I need to make it the animation while scroll so I'm clicking on this icon I'm going to the FX instead of up here I'm going to choose as scroll animation so here I'm going to set the trigger to layer in view and we can set from which position the animation should start even we can make it while at the top or middle or at the bottom even we can set whether it should replay or not and here we can enter the effects i need to bring it down so let me bring it down the same is applied for this text so i'm pasting it so this animation will appear while on scroll so let me show you so while on scroll, this animation appears. So this is how we need to make the simple animation for remaining sections. So you get the basic clear idea for how to create the links and a basic animation. You can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the Framework Beginner Tutorial playlist. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you in the next video. I have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming beginner framework friendly course. For additional information, check the link in the description below.